Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today, uh, we're just gonna do some more Watch Me Deco Dance. Um, so we're gonna be starting off with this first one that is actually a JoJo phone case. And I just got an order for another one of these. So soon you'll see how uh, I'll put a side by side of this one versus the one that was just ordered because the difference between them is that this one's going to be for a Google Pixel phone. And uh, the one that just was ordered is for, I think, an iPhone 6. So there's gonna be a little bit of, uh, you know, dealing around with the placement of the charms on here. Since, as you can see, the Google phone has that nice, I guess it's a touchpad or a button that goes right there in the center. Uh, so it, it's not gonna be that big of a deal uh, of a difference. It's literally like an entire space that I just need to fill in probably with more charms. But uh, yeah, this one was fun because these are two characters that I don't know from JoJo yet because I am still on Stardust Crusaders. I know, blasphemy, but uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the characters are Doppio and Diavolo, or Diavolo, I'm not sure. Uh, I haven't met them yet, but anyways, they wanted these two characters and they opted for a uh, button of the two characters. Now, sometimes I am able to um, find charms or keychains that have characters on them, uh, like I have for other JoJo characters, I've found keychains with them, but this customer specifically wanted this photo of the two characters on their phone case. So. I, uh, I can show you guys in a different video how I make my buttons. It's very simple. You literally print out the photos, grab a button maker, make the button, and then uh, attaching them to the silicone is pretty easy because you have that back side of the button pin that has the pin on it and it uh, adheres really well to the silicone. Uh, sometimes the button pins can come off if you're too rough with the phone case. I have seen some customers who uh, say that the top part of the button just fell off and that's probably because they were being a little too rough with it uh, but no matter you can always glue it back in place if anything happens so as you can see i'm adding some pearls here to the empty spaces and any spaces that uh, the silicone just didn't um, meet together if there's any holes sometimes i wait for the silicone to dry and i actually put the uh, the beads, the pe the the pearls in there after it's dry and just uh, push it in there and sometimes I glue them in but uh, yes, the pearls uh, make it look extra cute <laughs> then you see here on the sides of the phone case I'm using the 3D puffy paint to create the drips now right now I only offer the two options using either the drips or the lacing which is that pretty fabric that I glue before putting down the silicone. I usually leave it up to the customer which one they want and usually what colors would go best with it. So for this color scheme, we had some purples and pinks and reds, kind of bloody looking, but it looks really cute. Um, so yeah, uh, this 3D puffy paint is very easy to find online. Um, I usually go for the brand called Tulip. Um, the one that I'm using right here, I'm not sure if it's that one or if it's the cheaper one. Uh, unfortunately, since we are social distancing and because the store that was selling these 3D paints actually closed, I am no longer able to get this exact color of puffy paint, uh, which stinks because it's like really nice and really bright. Um, so I'm using the 3D puffy paint to, wow, great shot. Uh, to fill in the spaces around the silicone where it meets the case. Now this is to adhere the silicone a little better as well as to decorate any empty spots. So for example here where this awkward button is in the center, I'd rather there be a little bit of paint or color just covering that up. Um, so as you can see this is the final product. The puffy paint dries a little darker than it originally is. All right, for this second one. Now this is quite the doozy. <laughs> I did not do one mistake. I did not do two mistakes, but I I messed up three times. Uh, mistake number one is that I made the phone case. Well, actually, I got the order. They wanted a Lower Olympus Hades phone case. Um, if anybody reads the webtoon Lower Olympus, oh my goodness, the story has gotten so good. Um, 
they wanted a Hades phone case for their iPhone case. We'll get to that later. <laughs> so uh, I sent them a message with the layout that I had planned and it took them over a week to answer me. So I got a little impatient and I just made the phone case using that layout that I had sent them that they hadn't told me whether they liked it or not. So I got impatient and I made the first case. <laughs> uh, as you can see, I marked out in the center because they wanted a pop socket. We'll get to that later. And uh, yes, so the first phone case came out beautiful. Um, unfortunately, they answered me a little late and said, oh no, I don't like that layout. I want this one thing to be changed. So I said, no matter, I'll make it again and I'll keep this phone case that I made with the one charm that they didn't like. Um, and I'll keep it, you know, in case somebody wants to purchase it. No, no worries. So I make the phone case that they wanted me to make. I did not film that one because I was a little frustrated. Um, I made the phone case that they, uh, that they wanted me to make, making that change of that one charm. And I package it and I put it in the mailbox and it's sent to the customer and a day later the customer messages me and says hey I just looked at the photo of the one that you made for me and I just realized that is the wrong phone as in it's the wrong phone case because that's not their phone and that's not what their phone looks like so the mistake here was that they ordered a phone, it was my mistake. They ordered a phone case for their iPhone Pro Max, and I made one for the iPhone SX Max, or whatever. And it's very similarly named, and it's totally my fault because I looked at it quickly and I saw the word Max, and I just made it for an iPhone Max. So then I had to make the phone case again. <laughs> And since that phone case was already in the mail, it was already on the way to the customer, I had to contact USPS, which is the postal service, and uh, pay $15 in order for them to intercept the package and send it back to me, which I'm still waiting for. It's a mess. Anyways, so uh, I, you're going to see the this phone case finish. You're going to see the second phone case that I made finish, as in the one that's in the postal service at the moment, and you're going to see the phone case that I ended up making for the correct phone this time. Uh, anyways, long story short, I messed up a bunch of times. I even messed up in, uh, in one of the other phone cases, and I thankfully I fixed it, but I wasn't filming it, so I don't actually have the, the proof or the evidence for you, but um... Yeah, uh, so the lesson here is read carefully and be patient. <laughs> Two things I'm not good at. Um, so here we go with the puffy paint around. Um, the person actually chose puffy paint for their final one, but since this one is the first one I made, the one that it was not sent to them, uh, the one that I'm keeping if anybody wants to purchase it, I actually waited for the puffy paint to dry and I easily peeled it off once it was dry and I replaced it with the lacing on the side. So when you see the final video of it right now, you're going to see that it has lacing on the side and it doesn't have any of this puffy paint on it. I also changed the uh, pop socket on it and that's the final look. So. What's nice about these pop sockets is that you can actually replace them pretty easily. So this is the one that the customer ended up getting. This is the one that's on their way to them. And I was showing them pictures of it with this light blue pop socket as well as this dark blue pop socket. They chose the dark blue, so that's what's on its way. And then this one is the one that is still in the mail coming back to me. Yep. <laughs> All right, so this next one is so fun. This customer wanted a black phone case. They requested it to be uh, an actual black phone case. So I had to special order it um, for an iPhone 5 or an SE. I think that's the same phone case. And they wanted it to be the Untitled Goose Game. 
which is hilarious. And they not only wanted the entire Goose game, but they wanted a pop socket that said honk on it. So thank you again for this very creative and funny um, request. It's just hilarious to me. Uh, so the smaller phone case, um, I should have gone with a smaller icing tip. I think I'm going to do that the next time I do one for this small of a phone case because compared to all the other phones, the iPhone 5 is teeny tiny. So they wanted the uh, the theme to be the Untitled Goose game. They wanted him holding the, they wanted the image of the goose holding the rose. So then the rest of the decorations were like stars and uh, roses and a random alien on there. Um, and some hearts. So yeah, this one was really fun. So as you can see, I do believe I waited for it to dry in order to put the pop socket. Did I? Yes, I did. And here it is finished with the lacy sides. Thank you for joining me today and like and subscribe for more. Bye!